Good for fetch. 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 Good. That a boy. Ready. Lay. Lay. Fetch. Sit. 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 Okay. Shadow was a year old a couple days ago. So I thought I'd give a little report on how things are going and also talk about one of the key components to moving forward as a competitive dog and that is the ability to handle. Everything that we teach is by handling. We don't wait for them to screw up and then make a correction and think they're going to learn from that. They, they might over a period of time but the preferable thing is to teach something so they they go out they stop and they handle they cast to learn things so what do you have to be able to do to handle you have to take a line you have to stop and you have to cast well what I've discovered is a lot of dogs are just starting to handle they don't handle very well and so they get into a situation, for instance, where they're angling into the water or handling away from an old fall or handling over a log or something like that. And then because they don't handle very well, all of a sudden they're in a different problem. They didn't stop on the whistle. They didn't take the cast. Something d diverts the whole project away from the lesson, jumping the log, to now they don't they have to work on stopping on the whistle so to me it's really important to get a really firm solid foundation in handling then as they mature and they get a year old or a little older you can teach very very intricate things if they handle well if they don't handle well it's very difficult so one of the tests that I use to see if a dog is handling well or to teach him to handle well is the star drill and it's just five stations and uh, step one in this drill is to be able to see a, the stick and line to it see it in line see it in line and then the next step is to to, to line for one and stop and cast to another so you have lining, stopping, and casting. And then you can make up any scenario. I can line to the that angle back stick, stop them, and cast to the back. I can stop them and angle in. I can stop them and angle over. There's in, an infinite possibility of situations that I can develop with the star drill. In the advanced uh, video, I have gone into great detail about how to do this drill and and why to do it and the fact that it's the final test of whether you're ready to actually do blinds and 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 learn difficult concepts. So we'll pr do a little bit of this with shadow and I don't like to make these drills very very long and big because I like to be here come here buddy shadow here I like to be able to throw a bumper to the stick I don't want it so far away that I can't make the throw sit back good okay theoretically your first step is to line to all of them but I'm not going to do that because I want to I don't want to take that much time, but we just want to make sure we can. Sit, ready, back. Good. Very good. Heel, sit. So, next step would be, let's say I throw one to that spot. And I'm going to send him for that and then cast him to the angle back. I'm not going to say he's going to do all those things perfectly but that's what this drill is about teaching those casts and lines ready back okay 
Very good. Very good. Heel. Sit. Sit. Now you can throw to a station like that and line to it. Back. Good. Very good. Sit. Or you can throw to it. Take the line, ready? Back. Here. Good. Okay. Good. Very good. Heel. Sit. Sit. Once a dog has done this a few times, sit. Ready? Sit. Back. Good. You can have fun with it. And then the other thing you can do is if you know you have a certain handling problem, a certain cast that he's not taking very well, or a certain part of handling, you can... Come here, mister. Sit. You can figure out a way to apply it in this drill. And once they're really good at this drill, you can go out into the field and set up a learning situation, and you know that you can get through it because he's going to stop, and he's going to cast, and he's going to stop every time and cast every time. He's not going to say, well, he kind of handles. Kind of handling isn't going to be good enough to really teach some delicate type lessons. Hey. The other thing, it's uh, part of growing up that I like to always continue. Shadow, let's go is I like to continually do hand-thrown marks that aren't part of um, formal training with gunners and throwers. I like to be out here by myself. And here, sit, create situations that will develop memory and water attitude and sit 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 oh can't quite make the throw into the wind ready here here sit back these kind of marks do not have to be complicated they're confidence builders and you can mix them up sometimes I'll have six or seven bumpers and have a have them all over the place and usually I have them in places that are pretty easy to find not I don't want to be handling and except in certain situations where I intend to then if you want right here you can work on other things like you might want to practice your swim by. I'm doing all this because his birthday was the other day and I'm night. Very good. I know it's there. Here. Here. Good. Sit. 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 Back. A situation where um, you just dream up stuff as you go along and you you try to have it be just a huge fun time for the dog. Hey!
Hey, that a boy. Now, I've got one bumper over there, and I'm going to make that a sort of it's hidden, so it's a it's a little memory situation. I'm going to put them out here, and I'm going to give them a whoop, a cast to it. That boy. And so I'm combining casting with a memory situation. Very good. Sit. Excellent. Sit. Ready? Sit. Back. Okay, that a boy. So, kind of demonstrating my one-year-old that's getting along now and getting ready to start thinking about competition and describing the fact that the way I'm going to be able to do that is if he will handle. So, work really hard on handling. Have a great day.